This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedeten sie einen Pakt mit dem Teufel. Zu später Stunde kamen sie zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Sie zu erlösen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz, den Anbeginn einer neuen Welt vor Augen. So begab es sich, dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. Als unsterbliches Geschöpf der Nacht kam es die Gestalt des Wolfs, der Fledermaus oder des Nebels annehmen. Es labt sich am Blut der Menschen. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufelsschlosses, ist auferstanden. This game cleans up rather nicely. Greetings and salutations, viewers. One over here with another new game for the Halloween season. This time it's Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles. This is basically the remaster of Rondo of Blood. Um, uh, just redone for the PSP. They've obviously touched up the graphics for the PSP. Uh, graphically, music-wise, uh, obviously you don't have the anime cutscenes anymore. You still have cutscenes, but they're not anime-wise. But a lot of things still stayed the same. Uh, I don't think there's much any change in this version. Uh... Let's see, no, attack's the same. Yeah, I'm Crush is no longer like a select button because now we're using the PSP instead of, uh, yeah, we'll leave, leave all that. Display size, I think we're good. Could shrink it a bit to show the, yeah, these are the new versions of Maria and, uh, and uh, Richter this time. And I prefer, I mean, I, well, I was about to say I prefer the old style, but the thing is that old style is more anime and I actually prefer it when it's more like realistic and, and dark tone. So, Oh, maybe this is good, but that, that's Maria, and yeah, Maria's not as uh, cutesy in this one, at least uh, she's not animated up, so she's a little bit different in this game. Uh, let's see, wallpaper, yeah, we could change up what the wallpaper is in the background, let me show that really quick. Uh, let's see, so we can, so one is the, like, looks like castle setting, uh, one is the outdoors, three is like a little glass window thing or window there's dracula richter and maria and then something else i'm not sure on that one but anyway let's uh let's leave uh not to cut dracula yeah let's leave richter and maria there shrink the make it full size though and you can switch to japanese or english in this version i think in the turbo graphic 16 i think you can switch it to different languages if i recall there's an old file i guess i I was a, it's a test file right there I was using. I mean, I'm basically going to call it the same thing. No reason to change it. Uh, in this version of the game, there isn't the select, uh, cheats, uh, stage select uh, this time. The, the, like, was it the Q, whatever it is. That only works on the original version uh, of the game if you want to uh, um, skip the levels and stuff like that. Uh, on this one, uh, there is no, at least as far as I'm aware, there is an original one. Uh, the level select code does work on the original game because you can unlock the original game in this game. You can also unlock Symphony of the Night in this game as well. I'll try to find them when I come across them, but let's uh, start the game up again. And like I said, the reason I'm playing this again is because it is different. I mean, the levels are the same and everything, but they've added enough to where I think it's worth checking it out again. So, And we're going to play as Richter, although we will unlock Maria, and I will try to maybe swap in between the characters because it's a little bit easier to... Uh, save and then quit a level and then just re uh, go back to the title and and replay an old stage and stuff like that but uh anyway let's play as richter again 
And uh, yeah, there's a boss demo mode. It, we they had that in the original game. You pay so much money, and it can show you how to beat the bosses if you're having trouble with them. Uh, but they also added something new to this version, boss rush mode, which allows you to either, um, well, since it's the PSP, you could have posted it with someone and uh, co-host a, a boss rush mode to work together. Unfortunately, you know, that's long since gone, although there are always ways online to post it, this game via your computer. I'm not going to do that, but uh, but yeah. But anyway, you can single play through all the boss rush modes. However, because we haven't actually beat all the bosses on this mode yet, they won't be unlocked. Because to unlock bosses in this mode, I actually have to beat all the... There's like three boss modes in the game. One is beating all the standard bosses. One's beating the sub-bosses, which are the alternate levels. And then I think one is, and then the other one is like beating all the all of them through the boss rush mode. So, what? Alright, and just like in the previous game, we have the uh, we have the tutorial section where pr pr uh, prologue just to see. Oh, I don't even have to hit him this time, huh? Yeah, not as cool as the anime version of his skull. But if you get uh, as long as you avoid or destroy his side, you don't actually have to uh, attack death, and he'll do that. If you keep getting hit by it, he'll keep doing that over and over. It's supposed to be to test you to see if you can actually play the main game. But anyway, yeah, we start out with the dinner of flames, and it's, uh, most of the stages are basically exactly like before. Uh, the only difference is uh, graphically and some cutscenes that occur during the course of the game, which I'll show you when we get to them. But yeah, attack button or square button in this case is the attack. Um, dagger, you attack, use it to throw three daggers ahead. Uh, axe, you throw an axe ahead, like always. The dagger has a, a ability called Item Crash, which I've already shown that before, but for those who didn't watch that video, if you press up and attack, or sorry, in this one, if you press triangle, you'll use Item Crash, which will have you throw like a bunch of daggers. Really cool. You got the axe's Item Crash, but I don't have enough hearts to show that off. All right, let's go on to the next area. Fitting girl for Count Dracula. Now, come to me. No! I'll never submit to your master. I'd sooner die here. Huh. So much the better. Besides, once you marry my lord, death will lose all meaning for you. <gasps> Richter! <sighs> Hold a moment, Shaft. Of course, Master. What brings you here? That young lady has a certain connection with my old foes, the Belmonts. Bring her alive. I have a most amusing idea. By your command. The Master bids you sleep, girl. We must prepare a proper welcome, Belmont. All right, and yeah, you can tell this game was made after Symphony of the Night because they uh, add certain voices or certain character work into it after Symphony of the Night to uh, kind of work in with that connection. So yeah, it looks like Annette has been captured, so we have to go uh, save her. Yeah, we see her actually getting captured in this version. In the PSP, or in the TurboGrafx-16 version, we just know she's captured, so it's a nice little touch. And yes, that is what Annette looks like, despite what, uh, despite what, uh, what uh, Nocturne will tell you. That's what, that's what Annette looks like, so... All right, let's get some hearts here and uh, some candles. Yeah, pretty... Oh, well, sometimes he'll slide forward. But, uh, all right. All right, I'm going to try to unlock... I'm going to unlock Maria first, so I'm not going to go through the secret uh, dungeon for... Or secret area first. Or I won't go through that... 
uh, uh, until after I unlock Korea. But to show you, if you go here and slash this here, you'll unlock the alternate route to get to alternate level two, but we're gonna go on with the plot to unlock Maria first. Because she's not available immediately on this file until we re rescue her, so. Oh, and by the way, you can also jump, you can also backflip jump as well. You can also, let's see if I can. Uh, you can also, if you press a forward twice while using the whip, uh, you'll extend it slightly. Uh, you have to press forward twice to do that, so. Oops. Yeah, so much for all my health, even though I didn't take any damage in the first section. Now I take two hits. Oh, what? Stupid bat. It was following me. Jerk. Well, at least it seemed like it was following me anyway. Wow. Bats are even annoying in this game. Huh? Well, I shouldn't have even gotten hit by this point. That's pretty bad form right there. Oh, well, what can I do? Am I even losing the boss? And this boss isn't even that hard. Alright, if you go through the first boss, just like in the original game, you fight. The Wyvern. Alright. Like before, he'll fly around on the screen, he'll drop down to try and attack you. He'll also try to uh, um, shoot you with fireballs as well. Let's see, he'll probably do fire next. Yeah. Uh oh. I did that just in case I was gonna get hit by the fireballs. Because if uh, if you do item crash, you're immune to damage uh, while you're while you're doing it. Yeah, pretty easy, boss. There he goes, dying very slowly, as if he has little money. But yeah, every boss has a kind of mini cutscene to introduce them, so. All right, stage two. God grant me strength. All right. Yeah, then here's where we can unlock three if we do things, right? Yeah, we'll keep... I mean, dagger's nice, but axe is actually weirdly... Well, weirdly as if it's not useful at all or something like that, so... Nah, axe is actually a pretty useful uh, sub-weapon in its own way because of its arc. In most games, people hate arcing weapons, but in this case, uh, I think it's fine. And I keep getting hit by birds. There we go. Eh, not too bad. We're still in the early... Obviously, the alternate stages are the... This guy's easy! Oh, well, I got hit once. Yeah, remember when I had so much trouble during Rondo of Blood for some weird reason? Oh yeah, I'm not... I'm kind of a fan of uh, Richter's Reed... Ouch. I'm not a fan of Richter's redesign for this. I think it was cooler in the original game. Like, uh, sleek black hair. Uh, his outfit looked... I think his outfit looked better in the original game, but, I mean... It's not like this outfit looks bad. It's just, uh... I just, I just like the, uh... The original one a little bit better, that's all. But yeah, you notice that they've added certain things. Like, that wasn't in the original game with the, uh... uh chandelier crashing. So... So this is a whole new experience. If you've played a uh, Rondo of Blood, you can at least go into this saying, "Hey, I've got a there's a holy water." Oh, well, yeah. As soon as I get rid of a, uh, as soon as I get rid of the axe, really? Wow. Talk about talk about sucking it up big time. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you die, you lose all your heart, so you only have whatever the game gives you, which is ten. Man, I can't believe I suck so badly. But I just played and beat this game, like. Pretty well, I wouldn't say well, but you know, decently. And here I am dying at the thing again with the first time I played this game. I that axe knight like just 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 wrecked me for whatever reason. Wow. Oh come on. Wow. Man, what is up with me today? I'm talking about poor form. 
I wouldn't be complaining if this was the first time I'd been playing this game, but I've played this game before. And this is considered one of the easier games. You know, like the PSP version is supposed to be easy because they did a lot of things to make the combat a little bit easier to, go, uh, to do, even though Ronda Blood was easy. You know, despite me dying as many times as I did, that's probably one of the easier Castlevanias overall, I think. And there's the Rosary that kills everything on the map, so... Or that isn't a boss or a super creature or whatever, so... Uh-oh, it's the Behemoth, so we need to run. If you fall through that hole, if you fall through that hole, it takes you to alternate stage number three. But we want this key here. Ah! Run! Uh. I was gonna jump and grab stuff, but I'm not, it's not that high priority. All right, we want this key here. I want this key! And here he comes. Yep, he's not done yet. Uh, uh. There we go. Uh, and as soon as he dies, of course the bats start appearing. Uh. Yep, nope, we want to keep this key if we want to uh, save Maria, so let's go down this way. Now you can use the key, and like in the original game, he just has a question mark on his face when he does that, so... Yep. Alright. You can also press up and attack to use the key as a weapon. But anyway, let's go save Maria. Yeah, you know, I throw the key at the door. Such power this girl holds. Such purity. A fine gift she'll be for the master. You son of a... What are you doing to her? <sighs> that whip. Fell not. How can you be here? Blasted. Very well. Wait! Are you awake? M mister who are you? I'm Richter Belmont. Don't worry, that man is gone. I paid him back for hurting you. My name's Maria. Maria Renard. Uh, are you the man Annette was talking about? You know about Annette? Where is she? We were together when they brought us here, but now... I see. Don't worry. I'll help you. With what? Well, we have to beat the bad man. Ha! No, no. Just be good. Go home back to your mom and dad. They're worried about you. No, they know I'm safe with you. <gasps> they can see it from heaven. They were killed. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm definitely coming with you. No, that's out of the question. It's much too dangerous. Hey, I said it and I mean Whoa. it! What was that just now? Huh? Such power this girl holds, so this is what he meant. Um, okay. So, now I get to come with you. You just won't take no for an answer, will you? Alright, fine. Come with me. Yay! But promise me, you'll run if things get too dangerous. Alright, I promise. Alright, now we can play as Maria during the campaign. And if Maria's just anything like she was in the original game, she might be a bit OP for this, so we'll see what happens. But, but anyway, and you can't you can't change characters on the mid-map. You have to actually, you know, start the stage over again to uh, get them to join you, so... Or to actually, uh... uh be playable so yeah too bad they didn't do a function in, in the game where you could switch between the two versions of the characters like uh, in some games like um, Castlevania 3 or uh, uh, Portrait of Rune <laughs> anyway yeah I don't have the life so I might die to this boss uh, we'll see what happens though 
I do have I do have this the the holy uh, thing, so I might be able to do enough damage. I could swear I thought there was a I might have missed the health option here because I could have swore this this place had a uh, health regenerative somewhere around here. Huh? I guess not. Okay. Well, we'll see if I survive. If not, this guy isn't super hard, but but I might die either way. We'll see though. Now it's boss time against the werewolf. Oh, well, there you go. I was too close to him. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. <laughs> so so much for uh, so much for uh, trying my hardest, huh? I'm just like, eh, I'll just I'll just die, whatever. That wasn't my plan, by the way. That just kind of happened. All right, let's try this again. With style this time. I could have done it. I could have beaten him. Maybe. Could have. Would have. Should have. Maybe not. Oh uh, yeah, the uh Whoop. Ah, come on, man. Uh-oh. He's coming in. Okay, well, not quite quite enough to finish him off, but uh Ow. Oh, he, he even hit me with the death attack, too. Oh, they put underwear on him this time. <laughs> yeah, in the original version, he was he was in the nude. I mean, why would he... His underwear is not there, folks. Come on. You could have done something clever where you, like, put, like, a, a fog cloud around his junk or something like that just to hide it, you know? They show blood in this game, and they can't, they can't like, be clever about his, hiding his junk. An evil prayer summons darkness. Now, for, just, I forgot to mention this in the original game. Um, let's go on quick save really quick. Um, and uh, start the game again. But this time, we can now... Um, continue or uh let me uh so you can continue from the data if you quick save and erases it so this is for those the psp players who want to um uh like start again from that last spot so to make it easier so what it does is it resets you back to this area however i want to uh quit, uh, quit to the title really quick all right start the game and then this time, if we quit, we can now actually go to stage hey. select. Leave it to me. Anyway, time to go. Leave it to me. Good always win. Leave it to me. Yay! Leave it to me. Yeah, Richter's kind of boring. He doesn't say anything else, but Maria says a couple different lines. We can also change the stages we're at, and this actually tells you what all what other stages you can do. And it tells you how fast you've beaten the stage and all the other stuff. So what I want to do is now I want to switch to um, Maria and we'll unlock the, whoops. I meant to switch, I meant to change, uh, the Vengeful King of Bloodshed, yeah, each, I forgot to mention this in the last game, but uh, Maria and Richter have different names for the stages, interestingly enough. All right, stage select, let's go to, uh, yeah, you can't have her play the prologue because the only bad thing about this game is they don't have that cool anime beginning that they did in the TurboGrafx-16 game. Where he's like, oh, I gotta go up to darkness. And I had this cool music, and then they, they cut that out. So, oh well. Anyway, hers is the birthplace of tragedy. But yeah, it tells you what her stage is. So I'll just say them all whenever we actually beat the game and unlock all the stages. Uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, what the stages are called. Yeah, uh, birthplace of tragedy. Alright, so Maria plays, just like in the previous game. So what she does is she summons birds to attack people. And she also gets uh, we uh, uh, we uh, uh, creature spirits to help her. Like uh, this, in this case, it's a bird, uh, the red phoenix. We also get the white cat Diakio, or whatever his name is. Yeah, you summon and heal a charge in enemies, multiple enemies, before you leave the screen. Uh, she's also got a um, uh, a turtle, a blue turtle, and uh, a black dragon. Or it's a dragon, but it's supposed to be a black dragon, even though in this game it's green. Uh, and she also has like a songbook. 
he can use as well. Um, it's not a very good weapon, but uh, I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can. But yeah, in the original game, in the Turbo Graphic 16 game, because of how easy it was to utilize Maria's attacks, the fact that you get two back to back, um, uh, would uh, make her be able to go through enemies like butter. And she also has double jump. So yeah, she. Is that mu oh, I thought those were musical notes for a second. Yeah, when you duck, she covers. And yeah, she doesn't have the skirt anymore. They gave her pantaloons. Come on, game. But anyway, her, her food in the wall is parfaits. Or, uh, you know, stuff like that. She can also... Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Crap. Got to go back. Dang it. Uh, she also... Well, I'll show you again, so sorry about that. Man, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but anyway, she has a thing where she can... If she downs and X's, she'll uh, slide, as you can see there. Um, yeah, why'd they give her pants, man? Oh, well, whatever. It's not a big deal. Now, let me try to rush through the level to get back there. Because you get to just ignore half these guys anyway, so. Ow. Ah, nuts. I was hoping to get through as fast as I could. Oh, well. Actually, that was something for cat. Why are you why are you exhausting yourself? It's not like you're doing anything, lady. <laughs> She's throwing out birds. Like what? That doesn't require much in the way of strenuous activity. But yeah, let's go to this alternate route. There's a creature here, an ectoplasm, which is just a bunch of uh, spirits loaded. Yeah, when it hits you, it does like a little curse thing where it slows you down. All right. And drop down here. And if we go through here. Now, the last game, the original game, there wasn't any, there wasn't any reason to go into this room. There's Audrey 2, by the way. But in the original game, yeah, there was nothing in here. But if you play this version, yeah, you can unlock soundtracks. So in, in the original game... You, the music was already unlocked. You didn't have to do anything. In this version, you had to find all the music to unlock it. So, you, so I, I like when all the music's ready to go, but I can see why they kept it. So it's something extra to collect, you know, to give you reason to replay through the levels and stuff like that. All right. Yeah, we should be almost on the boss. There's the blue tortoise. Uh, that one does... Yeah, it summons a shield... To protect her from all damage. And here's the dragon. Whoops. Uh, probably the most useful of the summons. The only problem is the dragon costs a lot of hearts to use. And to use his item crash, you need like 50 hearts, I think. It's something crazy like that. It's insane. But it is a really useful sub weapon. Like in terms of just damage and what it does. Let's fight the, uh, I think it's just the serpent or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you can only hit him in the head, so. Ah, nuts. I was hoping to, like, not get hit by him, but no well. Oops. Ah. Oh, yeah, the dragon costs a lot of, like, um, uh, hearts to use, by the way. She's just like, I'll wait. Yeah, a couple more hits. There we go. Yeah, not too difficult. Huh. That was his death attack, by the way. Yeah, not as gruesome as the original game. In the original game, like, his flesh came off and everything. So, sometimes this game's a bit more adult, and then other times it's, like, kiddied up, if that makes sense. It's weird. I mean, I like this game. I'm just saying you can tell from the difference between the two games, their, the style and who is making it and everything. Like, I, I actually prefer Maria's original style, even though this looks good, but because I know what her original style is, you know, it's kind of like one of those things. All right, anyway, this is alternate stage two. And like in the previous game, there is a way for me to just straight up skip this level if I want to, which I'll show you how to do that. And I'll come back later to finish it off or finish it properly. I'll try to do this all, I'm seeing if I can do this all in one run. I might pause or cut in certain situations just to uh, put it all in one video. Because um, in the previous game, I, I cut it to two different playthroughs. 
But in this case, I'm just doing it all together. So I'll try to unlock all the secrets and everything while I'm doing this once. Alright. Yeah, here's a way to, uh, here in a second. Ha! Ah, take that, you, you monster. But anyway, if you want to skip this level and not have to worry about anything, drop down here. Shall I guide thee across the river? And this will take us, this will basically have us skip the level. We don't even have to fight the boss. I mean, we'll have to fight the boss anyway for the boss rush stuff, but, uh... Thy destiny awaits. Ah, if you say so, dude. You're not gonna help me against these guys, are you, though? Here come the merman trying to, try to hit us. Oh, I actually, I actually got lucky on that one. I actually didn't know he was popping up at that time. Wow. I'm getting, I, I actually don't know when these guys are going to pop up, so that's actually really surprising. Ah, no! Dang it. I was a little late on that. Oh, well, as long as, long as you get it, you, you get the, you get the, um, you get the sound effect, so I forgot, I don't know which one that was. But we'll have to come back through the level to do that again. Yeah, so make sure to hit a lot of the, uh, the candles, because uh, some of the candles might have the hidden songs. I don't know where every single song is located in this game, to tell you the truth, uh, but I'll try to find most of them. That's why I'm usually hitting, that's usually why I'm hitting these things once. Yeah, we had to. Be, the reason why we had to go back through this part is because the the ferryman takes us to this stage right here, and that's why it resets us to the beginning of the map when we die, instead of the um, other part of the stage. I'll try that again. Shall I guide thee across the river? Why do I feel like I'm gonna get hit by the merman this time? Because uh, because of that. Yes, yes, destiny and all that. Body, body, body. Ah. I guess they don't, maybe they don't count hitting you until they reach to get out of the water or something like that. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah, see? Yeah, now it's money this time. You can only collect the songs once. And that's it. Yeah, we're at stage three now, so. So let me go back to the menu. So let's do that properly this time. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's stage select back to two again. <laughs> I hate taking the long way around. Yeah, that sounds about right, so. But yeah, if you depending on how you finish this stage, you can either fight the wolf man again or you can fight a different creature, so. I like how easy it is just to go back to the old stages again, just to show it off, so. Alright, I'm trying to get through these as fast as I can. The only problem with the uh, stage selecting is that you lose all the hearts you would have had, because you're basically resetting the character back to the basic stats or whatever. So, if you had like 100 hearts and you reset, then or go to a different stage, well, too bad. That's just how it is. I'll try to, I'll switch between Richter and uh, Maria every once in a while. Even though Maria is technically a little bit more useful with her jump, with her double jump and everything like that. Although I think in this version, technically Richter is more powerful than her. I think that's how they balanced it. Because the original game, Maria just was so OP with her, like, her ability to just attack twice, multiple times, back to back. It made her a lot more useful. Yeah, these guys are pretty annoying because they, they do the whole Aramon thing or whatever you want to call it from like, uh, uh, Ghosts and Goblins where they they uh, try to run away from you every time you try to attack them. Alright, come on down, dude. There we go. Uh oh. Ow, I was, I was actually going to try to jump over there. I don't think there's actually anything over there, but... Ah, man. I messed that up. Oh, well. I think technically... No, I guess not. But anyway. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over there. I was trying to go try to jump over there. But maybe not. Um, yeah, I guess we could use the... 
the tortoise went up. I've yet to show off a lot of their crash attacks. Ow, oh, come on, man. Well, most server crash attacks involve, like, basically attacking everything on screen. I'll show them off eventually, so don't worry. What the heck was that? Yeah, there are some new enemies added to this game. Like, in this case, there's, uh, um... Uh, those skull things, or whatever you want to call them. Really? Oh, no! Okay. Yeah, you can jump down to this thing, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I forgot when you can jump, jump to the spot. There's the music, 18. Okay. Yeah, I said I don't remember where every single soundtrack is. I'll try to find most of them. Although I'm about to die anyway, so... Yeah, good thing I fell. Uh-oh. Ow! I got too close to him. Man, what's wrong with me today? All right. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, some of the the ways you can get to secret areas are slightly different in this version of the game. They kind of removed uh, oh, certain ways to do it. Yeah, I guess we could just fall. Whoops. Oh, no, no! Ah, oh, man, how many rest do I have? One. All right. This is how we're doing it, huh? There we go. Man, what is wrong with me today? I'm making so many rookie mistakes. It's crazy. Actually, what I might do is I might switch between each stage and switch to, like, Richter to play the top levels and have Maria play the bottom levels, and I'll just switch between the two. That might be the way I go. Because I think to get to the spot in the original game, you had to, um, you actually, you could get here as Richter, but it's easier to get here as Maria. You had to, like, do some a crazy jump to get here, but in this case, ah, oh, we got one up. Oh, I forgot to show, it was basically a Richter, a little Richter man, so. All right, lollipop. Yeah, we'll take, well, we'll take the dragon, why not? I think that's it for this. Okay. But anyway, if we go down this path, we'll fight the bone golem in this case. Alright, boss time against the bone golem. Uh oh. He was gonna touch us inappropriately. How dare you! All right, this, that's his first form. Now we'll fight a second form, which is, should be, yeah, this thing, this bat-like creature, or whatever you want to call it. Uh oh! Very careful. All right. There is another version of that where he'll drop like bombs or, or skeletons on you or something like that. There should be one more version after form of it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. This guy isn't even that hard. There we go. This should be his next form, final form right here. Uh-oh. Yeah, now we got the bone tank or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what to call this thing. Just attack it. If you're playing as Maria, just spam your attack and they'll finish him off. If you're Richter, you might have to back off a bit because you might not do enough hits to uh, keep it from moving. In the original game, he slid across the map, and this time he kind of goes moves like a tank, very slow. But you can also jump on him in the original version. I think you can jump on him in this one too. So, all right, but now we hit stage three officially. All right, let's uh, go back to the title and switch to Richter this time. I'm a Belmont. That's my job. Oh, there he now he has extra dialogue. I was like, why is he? Why wasn't he switching to it? All right, let's switch to uh, uh, this way. 
Alright, stage three. An evil prayer summons darkness. Alright. Uh, yeah, these guys were these guys were annoying in the original version. Especially Dracula X. God, I love the music in this game. Well, just the Castlevania music in general. Whoops. Ziggy, zaggy, ziggy, zaggy. Oh, sorry. I was, I was doing the joke version of the song. What the heck is he doing? There we go. He was like doing a jig or something like that. Ah. Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the backflip can be useful, but depending on the situation, it might cause more harm than good, depending on what it is. And also in this game, you can kind of tell the secrets a little bit easier, because you can tell that there's clearly a crack in the wall there. Although it might be the, the way I'm playing this game. That might be another reason as well. Yeah, he has some cheap uh, dodge, uh, dodge attacks. And unfortunately, daggers don't do a ton of damage, so as you can see, it took quite a few hits to even do anything. But... Sometimes the sub weapons can do more damage than the whip, but usually, I mean, I do prefer the, sub, the whip doing the most damage overall. Oh, by the way, there's no, just like in the original game, there's no, uh, uh, there's no whip upgrades. You you have the morning star and that's it, so you don't have to worry about that, so. I got some swing and spooky, spooky sling and skeleton apparently. So. Okay. Oof. Thought they were gonna fall on top of me or something like that. What were these guys in the circus? Maybe. Okay. Aha. Nice little rosary there. Ooh. Yeah, here's the clock item. Let's show off what that does. In this case, it slows down time. It doesn't completely stop it. It slows it down just enough to... Ah. Well, it can be useful. I just didn't utilize it well. Unfortunately, it's pretty expensive, as you can see. It costs five parts to use. I want to see if I can show off its item crash. The item crash actually stops time. The only problem with the stopwatch is it doesn't actually... It doesn't stop time for bosses, for example. So, if you have the stopwatch and you're about to fight a boss, you might as well get rid of it. Because uh, cause it doesn't slow down enemies, so it doesn't stop them either. Oh, here's another useful uh, book, the Bible. Or the Holy Book, or whatever they call it in this version. See, if you press up, yeah, you fling the book around. There's a Flea Man, or Igors, depending on which version you play. All right, now I think on this one, uh, the alternate floor is uh, by falling, falling off one of these, uh, or falling down this, uh, uh, these little slats here, because they they flip and they can take you to an underground area. Whoops. Well, there you go. I didn't, I didn't actually mean to fall. Actually, it just kind of happened. Oh well. I guess if I kept the clock, I'd have been able to stay up on top. But oh well. Yeah, look at it. it's just kind of funny how like uh, Richter saunters through the uh, through this, you know. All right, so yeah, we go through the bottom area this time. If you if you uh, get knocked out or knocked down, and here's some mods following me around. They act like the sound effect they use is bees, though, which is a bit weird. Because. I mean, mods do make a noise, but it's just, you know. Uh-oh, whoa. Yeah, I've only got, I think one hit will take me out, so I have to be careful. And I grab a little bit of heart. I don't know why they're following me, though. It's not like I have light sources around me or anything like that. Yeah, the book is pretty useful. It can hit multiple targets. I mean, it does it in a circle, but it's still useful. Not a fan of the big B noises though. Give me that. Give me that part. Whoops, didn't actually mean to do that. 
Oh, it was just enough to hit that guy, though. Eh, I want to show off the books as a uh, crash attack if I can. Oh, good. That was a lot of health for this place. Alright. Ah, man. Yeah, sometimes the double jump won't if you, or the, uh... Whoa! There we go. Yeah, there's a, a new, I would say enemy type per se, but a new thing, the, uh, like the bone wall or whatever you want to call it. Up. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, man. Take that, beat flea man. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I could I could have used the book. I was I was trying to hold off on the book, you know. Now I have to go back through this again. Man, there goes so much for showing off the item crash for the book. I mean I've shown it off before. It's just you know. Now, let me try to be a bit more efficient with this. You think I would just be speeding through this, because I've already done this before. You know, but uh, yeah, I like being methodical despite despite knowing better. All right. Yeah, no, I'm no I'm no speed runner, that's for sure. Ah, oh, man, come on. Seriously. Yeah. I want those hearts, man. You can't, you can't not get me those hearts. Oops. I think I already shut off the axe. I have crashed. I mean, I, I know I've already shown off those iron crashes previously in uh, the Turbo Graphics 16 version, but still. Come on, man. Well, at least we get a uh, health for that. I forgot how you actually kill this thing. Um. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, I think I need the clock. Is what I, I think. Yeah, that's right. I need the stopwatch for this one. So, yeah, if you use the stopwatch, you can slow down time, and then you can uh, get the get the music. That's right. Yeah, I can't do anything without the without the clock, so or stopwatch, I mean. And as far as I'm aware of, there's no stopwatch in this area, so. But yeah, that's how you get that one, so. See, that's why I didn't want to die, so I went to have to redo this, but. And unfortunately you have to play as Richter, because uh um because Maria can't get the stopwatch. Her book is the uh, or she doesn't get the stopwatch. She gets the four spirits and she also gets a music book, is her thing. Yeah, I don't think you can get down there unless you're playing Maria, which I don't know why you need to, but. I think another musical note is down there as well, I think. But yeah, you, you have to be as Maria and you have to slide down that to get, get that uh, phase down there, so. Alright, but anyway, we're at the boss of this section. I'm gonna off screen go grab that music or whatever just to uh, show off or get it or come back as Maria just to show off the uh, what was down there. Um, do I want the cross or or holy water? Uh, I think the cross is probably better for this one. I mean, the holy water's um, crash is better, I think. But uh, because it hits everything, while well, the cross's ability, um, it uh, it only hits a certain area when it when it activates. You know what I mean? The holy wire hits everything. Yeah, I can't go through the door there. So, all right. Anyway, to go through the normal path here, we fight.
Alright, fight Minotaurus here. If it, that would hit you, it would turn you like to stone or something like that, so. Ah, that should have backed up. Ah, I should have used that activated item crash on that one. Dang it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! It's called bullcrap on that one. Alright, try it again. Man, I don't remember having those trouble before. Maybe this one is a little bit harder. I could have swore I remember the, uh... Um... I could have swore I remember the PSP version of the game being easier than the, uh... Than the uh, TurboGrafx-16 version. But I guess I'm misremembering in this case. That's fine. Even though I had, had had full health when I fought him, this will be easier this time, right? And yeah, it just, it just does a skipped version of the scene, so. Yeah, luckily you can knock him back when you hit him, so. Really? Yeah, I better activate this before I get hit. What the? Ah, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be immune during that. What the hell? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Come on. All right, let's try it again. Wow. I could have swore I was immune during that form. Maybe, maybe hit me like right after I was got out of it or something like that. Wow, I'm actually getting a little annoyed. A little frustrated even. Yes. Uh. I said this guy isn't that hard. It's just a, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, you know me. I always choke up at the wrong moments, so. Nah, try it again. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, you gotta be careful on that part. What? That's what I'm saying, Richter. Back up, yo. You only have so many bricks, by the way. Dang it. Oh, come on. Oh, that is so unfair. Oh, that's bullcrap. <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. Man, I am having too much trouble on this guy. He's not that hard. I swear, viewers, he is not difficult. I guess I'm going on my word. My word ain't good enough, is it? Yeah, I remember him being so much easier in the uh, PSP or the original version. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I really should do back jump is what I'm supposed to do during that, like when he when he's about to hit you. You're, I'm supposed to, you know, flip backwards. So that way I don't get hit, but I'm not utilizing my abilities very well. Oh, there I guess that. There we go. Oh, come on! That better not kill me. Yeah, that's his death attack. Alright, stage four. Uh, atop countless terrors, but I also need to unlock the or show you the alternate path to uh, get Get to stage three from there. Uh, let me actually I need to show you what that little like before you fight the boss What that like bot what's in that base there that that you can only get as Maria So I'm gonna cut to when I get there as Maria and I'll be right back So I just have to replay the level and get to that one level part so and I want to show you what that is so
Okay, really quickly, I'll add it here. Um, instead of getting the uh, um, stopwatch, you get the cracked egg if you go here. Uh, let's show that off. Yeah, it summons a bunch of birds from, a, from an egg, and if you item crash with it. Yeah, so that that's pretty much, uh, that's all I want to show you. All right, I'll be back when I get to that one spot. Okay, here we are back at this part here. Oh, and with the red skeletons, I forgot to beat the red skeletons. You actually have to get an ability from someone, and we don't have that yet. So I'll have to come back here. If I want 100%, I have to come back here later after I do that. So the only problem with this part is trying to defeat everything. Oh, yeah, I got a new weapon called the uh, sound book. Let me show it off. Yeah, what it does is it uh, uh, summons music, and yeah, to get down here, you have to... Uh, uh, also, if you use her item crash. Yeah, the only problem with that is it only hurts people when it initially hits, and then if they touch it while the blood's going on, so. But anyway, there's this sound one, too. Sound 20. And yeah, there's a sound thing behind that, but I have to... I'll show off how to destroy it, but I have to, I have to do something very specific to do that, so. All right, that's it for that, so let's uh, go back to the tile screen, because it automatically saves it when you grab it, so you don't have to... Uh, do that again, so. Alright. Let's see. We're now at stage three on both. Oh, uh, let's see. Or stage four, I mean, so. Um, might as well go ahead and finish stage three as Maria, although there is a... I always want to hold off, because stage three and four, you have to save someone specific, and I want to unlock... I may have to come back through here later. Okay, well, I'll show you that you could do something very specific in the level, and I'll have to come back and do it later, so. Now let's switch back as Maria and do this stage. All right. Let thy soul be at peace. I mean, anyone can do these stages, by the way. It doesn't have to be Maria. I'm just doing this just to change it up. Uh-oh. The, uh, the crypts are attacking, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bat, bat, bat. Or the, uh, um, gravestones are attacking now. Why are the bats so annoying in this game? Is that a vampire skeleton? I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it comes up a bit differently in this version of the game, but still. I had to wait for it to hit the bottom. Yeah, too bad I don't have the dragon for this part. The dragon would have made this part a lot easier. Ah, come on. Because he'll, because uh, you have to get past his eyes or whatever. There we go. One, got one of the eyes. Yeah, I took a hit, but yeah, if you have the dragon, you get to summon and just go right through that guy. But nope. Maybe I underestimated the, the, this game. Yeah, look at that. The game basically straight up tells you where all the secrets are. By showing the, like, the little vis visible cracks and everything. But then again, I guess this game might be more tougher than the original version. Oh, and here's the alternate path, by the way, here. If I can show it off. Okay, so there's a stairway here. and We save someone very specific when we do that, but I almost want to show off because they each have a unique cutscene. You can only save these people once. So um, if you go down that stairs, you'll save someone. And then by saving them, you'll be able to destroy these red skeleton walls as you can see there. So, But I'll show that off later. Because like I said, I want to save it before I save them because there's unique cutscenes for, depending on if it's Maria that saves uh, the people, or if it's Richter, and you can't go back and save them again later. So what I want to do is I want to unlock the levels, and then copy my save file so I can show off both Richter and Maria uh, saving these people. You do want to save them, like I said. Saving the lady here will uh, unlock uh, uh, the ability to destroy the red, uh, the red skeleton. So yeah, sound book isn't. I mean, it's not the sound book isn't bad if you use its basic attack, but when you use its uh, uh, her, the, the reason why it's her item crash isn't as useful as uh, uh, that item crash isn't as useful. And yeah, I can't get here because I don't know how to destroy the yeah another sound box here. All 
All right, then if you want to unlock the next secret stage, or if you want to go to alternate stage number four, just uh, drop this thing down. Um, do I go unlock? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it now. Otherwise, you'll go to regular stage four if you don't do this, so. And obviously, you want to go through all the stages. If you're trying to 100% all the, uh, um, yeah, I think I, I should do I want the cap for this. Well, his, uh, her item crash for the cat is useful. But yeah, you just basically skip the rest of the stage if you just go to the alternate stage number four, so. Yeah, a piece of cheese in the wall. What would you rather have, cheese or meat in the wall? Alright, let's uh this is a oh I forgot his name now. Um Oh, yeah, let me show off the item crash. Yeah, not as useful as the original or in the Turbo Graphic 16 version, because in that one he, he would just he would just attack the whole screen basically. That's pretty much in the original game, that's how all her special attacks worked, is they would just item crash work, they would just hit everything. All like the whole screen, so that's why her item crashes were used, more useful. Here's his death attack, by the way. Aha. All right. And that's it for special stage number three. All right, special stage number four, the final divergence. However, let's go switch to back to Richter. I'll do... I'll do one or two more, well, because I was wanting to just split this up into two videos, make it, I could have done a Richter playthrough, but I think this is a little, it'll change up my playstyle, so I'll just split this up into two, because we still, because in this game there's seven state, or there's seven stages, and not counting, if you count the extra stages, there's technically, um, oops, I didn't mean to press that, I'll get the stage select again. There's technically, I think seven stages in the main line, but then there's an alternate five, Stage five, I believe, and then it merges together. Or no, it's uh, uh, no, five is the same, but there's some slight variations. So, but there's seven. So I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then all the secrets. And the hundred percent is counted towards getting all the music in the game, by the way, uh, in this case. So, um, actually, would this be a good? This might be a good place. Actually, this might be a good spot to uh, do a do a break in it. So, looks like we've gotten through. Most of the stages as all the characters. However, this, the journey must go, go on as we head towards Dracula. What awaits us in Dracula? Well, if you already played Rondo of Blood, you already know what's going to happen. But can we get to Dracula in time? Can we save Annette? And who are the other people that can be saved as well? We feel like we're missing a few people. We'll find out next time in the next episode of Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles, uh, the Rondo of Blood game. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.